Okay, I think I'm ready to start recording now. Right, so, uh, this is a mod not for the game itself, so it's not something you have to patch to the ROM. And it's not like a standalone version of the ROM you have to download from some ROM hacking website. This is just the standard release of the game, the standard American release of the game. Um, and how this works is there's a piece of external software which um, integrates itself with the um, emulator, which lets you use your mouse and keyboard basically. Well, I say mouse and keyboard, I mean just the mouse. So at the moment, nothing's happening because uh, I haven't activated it. I don't actually know if you can even see. Uh, no, slightly off screen, isn't it? Okay. So if I press the number four, I can look around. I've never really played this game before um, until recently, and I, I think I'm near the end of the game now. But um, so yeah, I'll try avoid avoiding spoilers for anyone who hasn't played this. But yeah, I had like no exposure to this growing up, and I wondered why that was. And it turns out it never released in Europe, so that explains that. But even games that were popular in America were still getting like pirated, you know, burnt discs illegally and then run on a uh, chipped PlayStation. So I don't get why this is one of the games that went under the radar, or at least in my social circles it was. I'm sure there was probably a bunch of people out there who played this, never knowing that it didn't release here. And this girl has to say. That was her dog she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying this game for what it is. It's, it's been quite surprising. Um, Obviously, like, the control is the only thing that let it down, because it has horrible tank controls, but it does have two control options, um, which, you know, tank controls, or this weird control set, which is almost like a traditional, like, 3D game, just with the same camera as in, cam as in um, tank controls, where you just slowly, like, pan right and pan left but having a mouse and well mouse to look around is actually like really like really cool and this is my first impression of the game as well so I bet there's so many people that grew up thinking holy shit I wish I could do this um it wasn't until like very recently because I'm like 16 hours in I don't know how much of that time I spent like running around in circles and grinding but um yeah, it wasn't until recently that I realized, oh, the first person camera actually is useful for like one thing. It's like one puzzle you need to like shoot at the ceiling. Cause otherwise your your um your bullets or whatever you call them just like home in, like homing missiles to enemies, so that's kinda cool. But yeah, uh I like this game for like I'm just jumping around at the moment. Um I like like, I'm quite impressed with like the cutscenes and the dialogue and stuff. It really does feel like something I would have played as a kid. It has like sort of like Pokemon Red and Blue dialogue, if that makes sense. I mean, if you know, you know, I guess. Oh shit! <laughs> Spoilers. All right, let me just take that off. But yeah, it just feels like one of those just simple stories. Like, oh no, like world's in danger. Will you help us? And just everything like slowly reveals itself, and you're just like, hmm, I wonder why this thing's here. I wonder if it's important. Like, Mega Man, there's a car here. Yeah, so I wonder if it's going to be important. Here's a free car. Oh, brilliant. It's going to be important. We can use that car to get around and stuff. Alright, so, anyway, now, you may be thinking, how does this work? So, you need two things, really. You need an emulator called Duck Station. And you need to download a piece of software called Mouse Injector Dolphin Duck, which is on GitHub um, and is a modified version of Mouse Injector by some other guy. Um, I'll probably just put it in the description of this video. <clears throat> but for some reason, like, Mouse Injector Dolphin Duck doesn't work with the latest version of Duck Station, except this is the latest version of Duck Station. 
how did I get it to work? Well, I'd like to say I figured it out, but I didn't have to. <laughs> Some guy on Twitter, in the thread where I found out about this software, was saying that they got it to work by, like, opening both at the same time, like, toggling the mouse on and off, and then closing the game and then opening it up again, or whatever, so... I made myself a guide, so if I just press this button to release the mouse... Um... So if I close out of this, and then close out a duck station... Actually, no, 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 no. If I just do powerful without saving, so... <clears throat> What you want to do is you want to open up both by default, like without doing anything. I'll uh, move this over so you can see what I'm doing on this screen. I think you can see that. If I just move that there. Okay, yeah. And what you want to do is you see at the moment it says no game loaded, but. Um, you can't actually see the cursor at the moment because I disabled it. Um, it says no game loaded, but it recognizes that the emulator Duck Station is open. If you don't have Duck Station open or another compatible emulator, this uh, software will just close down. So you need to open this after opening Duck Station. Then you want to go into Mega Man Legends. And then you got to get past the BIOS screen, otherwise <laughs> this doesn't work. So yeah, this is the American BIOS, because fucking I don't care what one I use. doesn't really matter. Ooh! <laughs> Loud music. Right, we're in Mega Man Legends now. We can press 4 on the keyboard, and it won't do much of anything. In fact, it's gone to a blank screen. Um, so I pressed it again. Now it's turned it off. Turn it back on. It needs to say on. And then you can do power off without saving. Oh, that's not happened before. Okay. That's weird. Well, if I do 4 again, it will turn off, but it will recognize Mega Man Legends. If you press 4 again now, I believe... Oh, uh, it will capture the mouse. Oh, or the cursor, or whatever, but um, it will get a, a bit confused and then, like, stop working when you load the game. So, all you need to do is just keep it off, relaunch the game, but wait for the BIOS screen to finish. If you press 4 now, Mega Man Legends will... this will disappear. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this annoying loud cutscene. Right, now I can press 4. Why is it doing this? Okay. Right, there we go. Do. Okay. Right, now it's captured my cursor. You can't see it, but it's like jittering over the place. That's the reason I chose not to capture the cursor during recording this, because it looks kind of bad. In full screen mode, you don't have to worry about it, because it hides the cursor anyway. So anyone following along might be like, well, okay, um, how are you, like, like, what's your control setup? How are you making this work or whatever? Because obviously the mouse just lets you move your head around. So, um, I've actually made a graphic in Microsoft Paint if I just uncapture the mouse again. So, this is the graphic I've made. I, uh, like I said, I've not really played this game before until recently, so I don't know if this is like the best layout, but it seems to work for me. So, you got your D pad is WASD, that makes sense. X is to jump or confirm things in menus, the spacebar, and I've also done enter as a bonus, because why not? That seems to make sense. Star is E, you know, pause, so E is just to the right of W, I thought that was, you know, um, uh, sensible choice. Q for the map, sensible choice. Um, left mouse click is to shoot with your main weapon, makes sense. Right click, I thought could be the sub weapon or it could be the interactive NPCs option so I chose that interactive NPCs um, triangle is a bit of a weird one because it like it feels interchangeable with circle but not always it 
it depends what kind of menu you're in, I guess. I don't know. So I, I put it to backspace because I just wasn't sure, and then R, and then the middle mouse wheel. R for like if I'm in a menu because it's easier to reach P just past E where the pause button is. So pause and then cancel. But the middle mouse button for when I'm using that button as a weapon, so, you know, a sub weapon. I don't know, this control scheme is a little bit weird, but it was designed about analog sticks, which is why I've chosen the original PlayStation 1 controller model. Um, and then, yeah, the only other thing is shift to move, uh, to aim in first person. So if I go back into this and I go into a dungeon, which I think is this way. Uh, let me just check where I am. Uh, no, I need to go south. Alright, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! No, stop kidnapping me! Okay, right. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could press up to go faster. Like I said, no spoilers in this. Like, none. None whatsoever. <laughs> <coughs> I just have to get this. This um, this game isn't really that big. You will be backtracking a lot, so these cities I'm going through, I don't mind showing because you end up seeing them like five or six times. Not much happens other than like NPC dialogue just changes. Like, oh, I wonder what that lady's bread tastes like, you know? And uh, oh, I'm listening to this music CD. I love music. Just dumb shit like that. It just feels so, like I said, Pokemon Red and Blue coded. Anyway, right. This is the first um, dungeon you go to. It's called a portal for some reason. And um, a portal to the sub gate. I'm like, okay, cool. Alright, so if I just do this. By default, like I said, your bullet's just home to the nearest enemy. But you can also do this. Oh, it's still homing to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's because it locks on, doesn't it? So after I kill them, I can, like, move around and shoot. Oh, right, I could use my sub weapon. And he ruined my shot. Wait, this has got terrible range. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Just wreck these scrubs. I guess that's um, all I wanted to say, really. I like this game. It's got cute cutscenes, feels Pokemon coded. I don't know. It's got RPG elements to it. Um, and it really benefits from this uh, mouse and keyboard setup. I was getting frustrated with that original control scheme, or those original two control schemes, because I was trying to like pick up money on the ground, and it was like dis it, it disappears too fucking fast. I'm like, how did, did they even test their game? I don't know. It just works so well with my mouse and keyboard. Like, oh my gosh. Excuse me. Why gotta be so rude? No. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I thought I fell out the map then. Alright, I'm gonna end the video. Uh, where's the stop button?